Hey everyone, I just want to start off this video by thanking everyone for all the support on the channel recently. For those of you who don't know, my name is Scooter, and about a month ago I had less than 100 subscribers, and now I'm sitting at 5.44k subscribers, which I couldn't be more grateful for. I recently made my own challenge where I would try to beat the first boss of Elden Ring Margit, but I'm only able to play for 5 seconds per subscriber I got that day. The series ended up blowing up, so the goal for the challenge changed to the Elden Beast. Over the course of this challenge, many of my new supporters have been asking for a complete video summarizing this entire challenge. So after about 2 weeks of editing and putting clips together, enjoy me playing 5 seconds of Elden Ring for every subscriber I get until I beat the game. Day 1. I gained around 70 subscribers from my previous challenge, so that's what I'll be using to start off this challenge. I didn't have too much time today, so I simply made my way up to the Margit Arena. I was feeling really nervous about this challenge. It felt as though if one video were to flop, then I wouldn't be able to continue. So I went to bed after uploading that video and hoped that I had enough subscribers to make another video in the morning. Day 2. I woke up today to the shock of getting 360 more subscribers, which is such a large number of supporters and alongside all of the supportive comments I was feeling so motivated to continue the challenge. I started off day 2 on a high note by killing Margit. After that, I went to Kaled to grab a few items that would come in handy for the rest of the run. One of which is the Radagon Sword Seal, found in Fort Faroth. This talisman is extremely strong and I'll be using it for almost the entirety of the run. In the same area as the Sword Seal, I found half the Dectus Medallion which saves a ton of time later on in the run. I spent a lot of my time taking out the old dragon to get a bunch more runes to help me level up in the early stages of my character. Then I hopped on Torrent and made my way to Laernia to grab the first bell bearing which is super useful because it allows me to upgrade my sword a bunch of times early on in the game. Day 3. I woke up today with super high hopes and I was still happy to see a gain of 17 subscribers but that wasn't quite as much as the last video so I had to make do with the time that I had. I decide to start making progress on Stormvale Castle. I got the rusty key to progress further down in the castle. Don't ask why I didn't go through the main gate because I now realize that would have saved a ton of time. Day 4. After yesterday, I thought that the large gain on day 2 may have just been a lucky day. Then I woke up with 510 more subscribers. This was so motivational and I was ready to keep going. Starting off day 4, I made my way through the rest of Stormvale Castle and took out Godric with little to no effort because of all the strong upgrades I got earlier. After I killed him, I grabbed the Physic Flask and got the other half of the Dectus Medallion. I then made my way up the Dectus Lift to grab the second Bell Bearing to further upgrade my sword as well as some gold seeds along the way. I used the Sight of Grace earlier from Liurnia to make my way to Rhea Lucaria to take out the Red Wolf of Radagon. I used the runes from this fight to upgrade my sword a little bit more then went straight to Rinalva then killed her to finish off the day. Day 5. Today was another massive gain by 190 subscribers and I was so excited to continue the challenge. To start off day 5, I used the runes from killing Rinalva to upgrade my sword to plus 13. Then I talked to the finger lady to get an extra talisman pouch. I then went back to Stormvale Castle to get the iron web blade for weapon mods. Then I got the green turtle talisman to fill up the pouch I got earlier. Finally, I went to Redmain Castle for Radon. Day 6. I woke up today to another awesome gain of 140 subscribers so my motivation to continue the challenge was still very high. I used the majority of my time today to kill Radon. This fight gives a ton of runes so I was able to level up a lot from it. I finished off the day by grabbing the Radon armor from an NPC at the round table hold. Day 7. Today I had another massive gain of 200 subscribers so I decided to make some more progress on the main story and spent my time killing the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Then I went back to the Radon arena where I very sadly killed Alexander for the Warrior Jar Shard. Day 8. Today was the turning point for my mindset. The motivation was really kicking in now and it felt like the series was truly picking up now as I gained another 310 subscribers. I spent the majority of today getting through Lindell. I then quickly took out Godfrey and got an extra talisman pouch. From there I went straight to kill Margit which took way faster than I usually kill him. Doing this got me the rolled medallion which I immediately used to make my way up the big lift. Day 9. Today was my largest gain so far with 610 subscribers. So I was determined to make massive progress on the main story. I started off by collecting sacred tears from the Weeping Peninsula because I was starting to notice that my flasks weren't healing nearly as much as they could have been. I then made my way to the fire giant while collecting sacred tears on my way there. I easily took him out then made my way to the godskin duo. I used the runes from the fire giant to continue to upgrade my sword. And I ended off the day by exploring for physics tears to optimize my flask. Day 10. Today I got 40 subscribers so I thought that I would maximize my time by practicing for the godskin duo fight. I can't lie this boss absolutely destroyed me. But I was still confident that I could beat this boss the next day with a couple upgrades. Day 11. I had a lot more time today than I did from yesterday with 210 subscribers so I could prepare for the Godskin duo fight. I started by making sleep potions by gathering all the materials needed. I used the sleep potions to quickly take out the Godskin duo then I used the bell bearing alongside the runes to upgrade my sword. I was so happy that the Godskin duo was out of the way. But the challenge was really just getting started. Day 12. I was so thankful to see another 210 subscribers so I used my time today to find the last smithing stone that I needed to max out my sword as well as searching for the Malaketh Arena. Surprisingly, I was able to do both in the given time. Day 13. My plan for today was to prepare for the Malaketh fight. 
It's super hard and I thought that my upgrades would also help for some of the later bosses. I start off day 13 with the time from the 110 gained subscribers by getting the Ritual Sword Talisman because my talismans needed a good upgrade. Then I got the Dex tier as well as the Stamina tier and explored a bit more before finding another Sacred tier to make sure I was ready for this huge fight. Day 14. I spent all the time today from the new 50 subscribers taking out Malekith. I got lucky with a huge stagger to clutch out a win. This was a huge day. I started to feel like this challenge was already coming to a close. Day 15. I used all the time from the 100 subscribers today to take out Gideon. I happened to be very bad at the Gideon fight, so I had to spend all my time for today to take him out. I find this boss heavily luck based because sometimes the spells that he casts feel undodgeable. Day 16. I felt so motivated to wake up to another 150 subscribers. I used all the time from day 16 to practice the Godfrey fight, and I really did need this practice. The attacks from this boss are quite easy to read, but one mistake takes out a ton of health, which throws me off a bunch. Day 17. I gained another 130 subs, so I had planned on using all the time to practice the Godfrey fight. Luckily, I ended up killing him before the time ran out, moving on to the final boss of the run. Day 18. I start off day 18 with the time from the brand new 200 subscribers by grabbing the Holy Resistance Talisman because it's a powerhouse for the Radagon fight. I used the rest of my time for practicing. I was doing a lot worse than I thought I would at this fight, which worried me a lot considering I had just gotten a super good talisman for the fight. Day 19. I used the entirety of the time from the new 170 subscribers to practice for the Radagon fight, but I was starting to make some good progress on the boss. I had finally started to make it to the Elden Beast part of the fight, which was super motivating. Day 20. I gained 40 subscribers on day 20, so I decided to go all out and use all my resources to try and take out the Elden Beast. I saw the timer running out and I was terrified, but in the last few seconds of my time, I was able to get in the final hit on the Elden Beast, finishing off the run. This challenge has really been an adventure for me, from all the high highs to the low lows, but everyone was so supportive the whole way, which was the only reason I was able to continue this challenge. Not only that, but it has enabled me to continue making content for all of you, which I'm so thankful for. I really don't know where this channel is going to take me, but I hope that you're all willing to join me on this new adventure. Thank you so much for watching.